You know, ladies and gentlemen, you look at baseball in the early 1990s, one project that everybody thought was going to come, come about as one of the best young pitchers in baseball didn't uh, really uh, pan out the expected. Todd Van Poppel was a heavy prospect coming out of high school. He, he was drafted top 20 by the A's. Now, the let Atlanta Braves were considering drafting him as number one overall, but he told the Braves, don't draft me. And sure enough, he took Chipper Jones, which led to uh, National League, uh, Divisional, and the World Series success. So today we're doing a short podcast, as requested by a good pal, Andrew Lippert, to talk about the cautionary tale of uh, Todd Van Poppel. Now, uh, Todd Van Poppel was born in... Uh, although he moved to Texas, he was born in Hinsdale, Illinois. Now, in his career, he played pitch for Oakland in '91. He started one game as a 19-year-old and played with them '93 to '96. He also suited up with the Tigers in '96, the Rangers in '98 and 2002-2003, Pittsburgh in '98, Chicago 2000-2001, the Cincinnati Reds as well, and '03 and '04. He'd retired during spring training with the New York Mets in 2005 in an attempt to make it in New York. Now, Van Poppel was 11-3 with a .97 ERA and 170 strikeouts as a senior at Martin High School in Arlington. He was drafted in the first round, 14 overall. Now, 6'5", 220 pounds. Everybody was talking about this guy. And he was a very uh, highly ranked a rookie card uh, prospect for baseball collectors uh, back then and when he collapsed coming out of uh, high school and in the minors uh, ironically the, the junk wax era also collapsed as well now again the Braves had again considering they're using their first overall on Van Poppel but he took Chipper and the rest is history now he was one of f- uh, four he was the first of four starting pitchers selected by the A's in the first 36 picks of the 1990 draft referred to at the time as the four races. The other three draftees were Don Peters, Dave Zen Canero, and Kirk Dresendorfer. All four struggled with injuries after being drafted, and only Van Poppel and Dresendorfer ever reached the major leagues. Now, because Van Poppel was signed to a major league contract rather than a standard minor league contract, the A's only had a limited number of minor league options to can use on him. By all accounts, his lack of seizing in the minors cost both the A's and Van Poppel. He pitched just 37.2 innings in single A in 1990, spent 91 at double A Huntsville, and was hurt for much of 1992 at triple A Tacoma before splitting time between Oakland and Tacoma in 93. In all, he made only 32 minor league starts. Now, armed with a blazing fastball that had little movement, Van Poppel struggled with the A's with the ERA and the stratosphere. His best season in Oakland was probably 95, when he went 44 splitting time as a starter and a reliever. He also notched 122 strikeouts and, 50, and 56 walks in 138.1 innings that year. In 96, his numbers dropped sharply, and he was released by the A's mid-seasons. Now, after a high ERA stops in Detroit, Texas, and Pittsburgh, Von Poppel did have two successful years, 2000 and 2001, as a middle reliever uh, with the Cubs, before his effectiveness declined, and he had two bad years in Cincinnati as well. Now, he ended his career uh, at 40-52, and he never won more than seven games in a season. Uh, it's a, like I said, it's a cautionary, it's a cautionary six. In combination with Detroit and Oakland, he had a 3-9 record with a 9.06 ERA. Now, uh, back in the major leagues in 98, he split time between Texas and Pittsburgh with a 6.3 ERA. Now, in 2000 with the Chicago Cubs, he settled down in middle reliever, but in 2002 with Texas, a 3 and 2 with a 5.45 ERA. Now, 03 with Texas and Cincinnati, uh, he had uh, uh, not, not too bad of results, 3 and 1 with a 5.59 ERA. But last season with Cincinnati, uh, again, 6.09 ERA, 4 and 6. So, again, 
uh, more than a decade in Major League Baseball, a 5.58 ERA with only 40 wins in that span. So what does that tell you about Todd Van Poppel? He, uh, he wasn't uh, used right. Oakland should have given him three or four years of seasons. And as we say in 2022, don't rush a project. He was a project. 6'5", uh, some people say 6'6", six, six, well over 200 pounds. He could have been a great pitcher, but I mean... Anybody think someone directly out of high school was going to make it in Major League Baseball in the early 1990s? This, uh, Dwight Gooden and uh, Ken Griffey were few and far between. He was going to be no uh, Dwight Gooden. Dwight Gooden had a massive control uh, of his pitching. But Van Poppel, there was also talk he was going to be either traded to the Yankees uh, the Blue Jays or the Expos for a series of prospects. Uh, there was even talk of somebody along the lines of Delino De Shields was going to be traded for Van Poppel. But I think the other teams in the league must have scouted him and said, we don't want any trouble. So Andrew Lipper, thank you for the, uh, the request. Always a big follow to the channel. If you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, baseball is not only a game of interest. It's a game of consistency. If you can't pitch five innings without giving up five runs, Unless you got a big contract, you're not going to stay in Major League Baseball. And that's his problem. Uh, you know, um, if he would have pitched more games in the minors, he would have been a lot better, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for listening. Bye.